rifle we have in front of me is my Wyndham Weaponry 308. This is a 16 inch barrel and this is their brand new burnt bronze color finish. As you can see, I've made a few modifications to this gun. We will talk about that in the specs. But the one thing that you guys may have noticed is this is a slightly different scope than what I normally have on my guns. This is a day-night scope from ATN. This is a fourth generation day-night scope. It is a 5 to 20 power scope. I have a review coming up that I'm very excited to talk about at some point, but that won't be available anytime soon. But let's jump into the specs. First off, if you guys are looking for this model number, it is R16SFSCT308BB. Now, what does that tell you? Well, it tells you BB is burnt bronze, it's 308, it's a 16 inch barrel, and a bunch of other letters in it. Moving on, the action of the gun is a semi auto direct impingement. It comes with a single 20 round PMAG. However, I have switched over to hex mags for this particular rifle because I like the tan hex mags finish with the burnt bronze. I think they go well together. It is a Cerakote bronze finish. The upper and lower are forged 7075 aircraft aluminum. The trigger that comes with this is their mil spec trigger. However, we are upgrading to a two stage curve trigger with a two pound release from CMC triggers. They're made here in Texas. I really like their triggers and I think they're worth having. Now, the safety selector on this gun is normally a single sided safety selector, but I did upgrade it to an ambidextrous one from phase five. Their charging handle is also a mil spec 308 charging handle. And again, I upgraded it to a phase five charging handle because I like having a larger charging handle for my gun. Moving on, it is a 16 inch chrome lined barrel and it does normally come with a Yankee Hill flash suppressor. However, I did change it out to a phase five Fat Man 30 cal muzzle device, simply put, cause it looks badass. The sight that originally came on this gun were Magpul Imbus Pro metal front and rear pop-up iron sights. I did end up switching them out to Fab Defense 45 offset sights. I like these because I do have the scope on here and having the ability to push these sights up and quickly run them is what I wanted. It did originally come with a Hogue overmolded grip that I switched out for the Hex Mag grip. It is a rubberized grip that with this gun, I think it looks really well. The stock on this gun that did come with it is the Magpul CRT carbine stock. It does also come with this gun is this Magpul angled grip, which gives you a nice place to push up your rifle and gives you something to grip onto. I will say that I had originally planned on putting a Raps C stock on here from Fab Defense. However, I did find that I prefer this stock on this rifle. And well, I didn't feel I needed to change it. Fortunately, I do have another 308 that needed a different stock. So I went and put that stock onto there. Now, talking about all the changes, does this rifle need all of these changes? No, the rifle functions beautifully without changing anything. The reason I did make these changes is because I wanted to customize it to me. You should never feel bad about buying a rifle and saying, you know, I like a charging handle from so-and-so rather than the standard charging handle that everyone sends their guns with. You're just making your gun yours. On this gun, they came up with an incredible package, but there are still some things that I wanted to work with other companies on, and I did. I will say that I tried switching out to a PSA drop-in trigger. We found out that, that this particular firearm did not like the PSA trigger we had, and it was giving us some funky issues, so we did end up wanting to go back to another trigger, and that's why we chose the CMC trigger. I think it's just perfect for this rifle. We also did and go and add a Spikes bipod from Fab Defense. It's really nice. It gives you a lot of adjustments. I also really like working with Phase 5 and Fab Defense because I think they make great products. 
I don't think that Phase 5 or Fab Defense, for that matter, get enough recognition in our industry. And both of these companies make great products that I really love having. With these charging handles from Phase 5, I think I own four or five now uh, on different firearms that I own. I can tell you they're worth it. Let's talk about this firearm without the changes. Weight of this gun without all the changes is 7.8 pounds without the magazine. The length of it is 38 inches or 34 with the stock fully collapsed. It does come with a hard case, a black web sling, and an owner's manual. So you, when you get this rifle, you don't really need to just say, ugh, I don't like soft cases because I'm not getting the protection. We have been using this gun for about a year now and it shoots like a dream. Now my original 308 that I got back in 2014 was also a Wyndham Weaponry 308. It's very similar to this rifle and I will link that down below if you're interested in reading about it. I loved that gun and to this day I regret selling that gun, but a friend of mine was in need of a 308 and I work in the industry so I know I can easily come across these rifles. So I said, you know what, I will sell it to you. And I still wish I hadn't because I would have owned this one and that 308 because they're both amazing firearms. Being that this is a 16 inch barrel, I don't sit here and say, oh, well, I'm only gonna shoot this from five to 700 yards. I like to sit and shoot this from 100 yards to 800 yards. When I move past 800 yards, I typically switch over to a bolt action as I get more accuracy out of it. But this gun can easily move to the thousand yard range without an issue. Now, as I said, we are using an ATN day night scope and I've been using this scope for six months. I like it because I can go and sit there on my porch at night looking for hogs and I don't have to turn on any other lights. It's a very well-built scope and I can use it during the day, which means I don't need to be messing with different scopes, taking things off if I wanted true night vision. And honestly, I just don't want thermals because this is my go-to 308 rifle to shoot for all occasions. Let's move on to my final thoughts. First off, I wanna give a huge shout out to Mark from Wyndham Weaponry. This color is beautiful, man, I love it. You guys designed an amazing rifle, amazing rifles over at Wyndham Weaponry. And personally, I think you nailed it with this one. This rifle, as it stands before I made the changes, is a well-built machine. It's not something that needs to be changed unless you have some comforts that you already know you want changed. Whether it be a charging handle or an ambidextrous safety selector switch. These aren't major changes. Even changing out the muzzle device because this one looks cooler doesn't change how the overall gun functions. The overall components of this gun stay the same and you just have a different muzzle device. I changed the things on the guns to make them a little bit more comfortable, like matching the grip to the color of the gun and adding a bipod. My biggest complaint for every AR is the A2 charging handle. We need to stop using it. I think we need to go all ambidextrous all the time. If you guys are looking for a firearm like this one, MSRP comes in at 2008, which is a great price for a rifle that offers so many features. So many things that you need in a 308 and a color that is just so pretty. But maybe you aren't a burnt bronze person. Maybe you already know all of the changes you wanna make, like the stock or the grip or the muzzle device. You can go and pick up a less fancy model of this gun for 1872. These are all great rifles that will last you a lifetime and they all have a bunch of different compliance rifles so you can go and get this rifle for as low as 1413 if you just want the most basic firearm out there. Personally, I'll stick with my burnt bronze because I think it looks amazing. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys will like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you are notified every time we put out a new video. Make sure you guys are following our social media so you guys are notified every time we get a new firearm or gear, such as this one. Also make sure you're following our social media so you guys know when we're doing giveaways. We have an awesome one out this month, so make sure you are subscribed and following all for these videos. See you in the next video. Peace.